Hello, let's do one up. Puzzle 206. Let's play here. So we're an 8 by 8 today. And each row and column has been potentially split into segments by these bold borders. So for example, this top row is a segment of length 4 and then another segment of length 4. And each segment, whether it's a row or column segment, has the digits 1 to n exactly once each, where n is the length of the segment. So we need 1 through 4 here, 1 through 4 here, we need 1 through 5 here, 1 through 3 here, etc. A row or column that is completely um, open has 1 through 8. All right, I'm going to get started. So hmm, they do the black, um, a black cell instead of just putting a 1 with borders all around it, but you can think of it the same way as that. All right, this is a one length segment. This is a one length segment. Uh, this is one length. This is one length. Okay, horizontally and vertically, respectively. Um, we need a one in this segment, and that has to go here. This sees one and two, so this is a three. That's a two. Off to a good start here. Um, one, two, and three here. Unfortunately, this can be two. It doesn't see this two over there. Um, oh, this column finishes with a five. Let's do that. Let's see. I always try without notation at first, but I may end up doing notation on the harder puzzles of the week, like this one. This is a two, um, because these two can't be two. We need one and three here. Let's see, this can't be one or two. Three or five is what it is. Maybe I should think about eights then, because we need one more eight in the grid, I think. Let's see, this column, oh, this is a one. I, I got side, <laughs> got bamboozled by that block there. Um, and this is a one as well for the horizontal. Um, we need three, four here. Okay, so I'm going to look at the columns that need an eight. This column needs an eight. This column needs an eight. This column needs, oh, there's a lot more eights than I thought. So, and this column has an eight already. So we need, we have four eights in total. We need three more of them. Um, ooh, ooh, this, oh, no, sorry, this one does not see over here. Sorry. Um, so yeah, let's look at eights. So this column, and then what rows are they going to come from? They're going to come from, uh, this row here. Uh, this row here, this row. Did I count this as an eight column? Because it's not. See, this needs an eight. This needs an eight. Okay, there's three of them. Sorry. Three total. We need two more. This column and this column are going to get it from this row and, and, uh, see, these two rows. So this column can't get it from this row. So it has to get it from this row. So this is the eight. Oops. No, sorry. This row. This is an eight, and then this is an eight. Okay, now we have all our eights, I think. Sorry, this is this puzzle can be really difficult to scan, and I'm not doing well right now. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can improve. Now, now we can think about sevens. So we need a seven in this column. We need a seven in this column and this column. I don't think there's any non-eight columns that could be seven. So we need it in these three, and they're going to come from these three rows. So, in general, it's going to be here, here. I'm, going to, I'm actually going to pencil where sevens can be, just to help visualize that. So, here and here, and then this, uh, this row needs it. Right, this row can only get seven from here, right? It can't get it from this one, this one. So we end up with a seven here, which then for this row makes the seven there, and then for this row makes the seven there. So sevens are finished. Um, sixes. Let's think about where this column gets a six from. Um, so it could come from here or here. This is five length. Do we have any six length segments? I'm not sure. We'll find out. This already has a six. This needs a six. It could come from here. Yeah, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. It could come from here. Right, I just did this column, which needed a six. Um, could come from here. Uh, this is six long. This could have a six. This is five long. This column needs a six. That's four. Could come from here or here. Okay, and then this column needs a six as well. Could come from here or here. Okay. So did we learn anything about sixes? Not really, as far as I can tell. Um, okay, 
So that wasn't too fruitful. Oh, this sees a one all the way over here. Okay, so this is three and this is one. Um, I was thinking about this needs three, four, five, but I don't think I can place any of those. This one does not see down here. Did this three do anything useful? Oh yeah, because this needs four. This needs one, two, three, four, and this can't be one, two, three now. So this is the four. This can't be one, two, so it's three. This can't be two, so it's one, and that's a two. Nice. Okay. Um. Let's see. We need four and five across here. We need three and five across here. Hmm. What do we need here? Uh, one, two, three. We need five and six here. So let's just mark this five, six. I'm going to mark this as one, three. Oh, yeah. The, oh, sorry. I keep seeing this one is looking down there. Okay. So this is one, three. This is one, three. Um, this was three, five, three, five. This was four, five, four, five. Okay. Um... At this point, I'm going to get rid of these sixes because they're just going to confuse me. I don't think they're helpful at the moment. Um, let's see. This is six long. This can't be five. So this is three, four only. Hold on. What am I missing? Three, four, six. Sorry. Um, this is only three, four because this is a four length segment. Across here, we need three, four, five, six. Not really seeing what to do there. This is only three, four, because it can't be five. This is five length. Missing something important here. Um, this is this. We need a one, three, four, five, six. Not helpful. Let's put three, four here and here. Let's see. This is one, two, three, four. This is this is one, three, four. Try not to pencil everything. It just gets overwhelming. Here we need one, two, and three. This is only one, three. Hmm. What have I failed to see here? Um, I have an X-Wing on fives here. That's important. Okay, so let me explain this, and I actually can draw. I have a nice browser extension here. So think about the cells I have circling here. So you'll notice that in this row, one of the, the five has to be in one of those two circles, and in this row, the five needs to be in one of these two circles. So as a result, we're either going to have a 5 here and here in blue, or we're going to have a 5 here and here in green, because we can't have them in the same column. And so we're, you're either going to have this leg of the X, or we're going to have this leg of the X. And that's def one of those two will be true. But either way, the 5 is going to be in the column in those cells, either in the green cells or the blue cells. So the result of that is this cannot be a 5. If you think about it, if I tried to make this a 5, we'd end up with 4, 6 here, and these would both be 5, right? Because I wouldn't be able to put a 5 in, in either blue or green on this edge. So that would be bad. So this cannot be 5. And in fact, the entire column cannot be 5, other than here and here. So this is a 3, this is a 5. So now that these can't be 5, let's think about what they can be. This can't be 1, 2, 3. It could be 4. It can't be 5. It could be 6. It can't be 7, 8. This can be, uh, in fact, we do need a 1. But anyway, this can be 1, or it can't be 2, 3. In fact, where does 2 go in this column? That's something I missed. This column needs a 2, and you notice from all our markings, this can't be 2 either, so that's our 2 for the column. And now we need a 1 in the column. This can't be 1. These can't be 1. So that's our 1 for the column. 
And now we're left with this four, five, six triple, and fives in one of these two. Very nice. Um, now over here, these can't be five either. We need one through six. So this is one, can't be two, could be three, four, six. I don't think these are worth marking up, even though they can't be five. They have too many options still. But I am going to erase my little drawing there. Um, OK. Uh, what else can we do then? So I got this three. I got this one and two. So these are from one, three, four. Ah, the one now can only go here, because this one sees up. So that's our one. That's our three. Oh, this one also gave this three. I missed that. This is now three, four. We can mark that. A lot of three, fours going on. Um, one, two, three are gone. We need four, five, six. This can't be six. There's a six. This can't be six. It's four length. So six goes here. Uh, this is four length, so now it can only be four. It couldn't be one, two, three. I could have seen that. That's a five. Uh, four gives us the three and the four. This is a three now, because it can't be one. We need one, three for the column. So that's three, that's one, that's three. Um, uh, what else do we have going on here? One, two, three, we need four, five, six. Not much to say about this. This is not five. Oh, yeah, so five in this row only goes here. This is now three, four, and this is now four, six. Um, need one and two here. Let's just mark that. Three, four, six. Um, oh, this is a two for the column. That's one and two. Easy to miss things. Uh, how about how about this row? We need three, four, five. This can't be three. This is only four, five. So that's a four, five pair, right? These can't. These have to be different digits. Here, let me let me let me draw again. This cell and this cell have to be different digits because they share a column. And the only two digits available are the 4 and the 5. So one of these will be 4, one will be 5, which means we can't have another 4 or 5 in the column. That's a pair. Um, one of the more basic techniques that is beyond a single. So this can't be 5, right? These would both be 4. So this is a 6. That makes this a 5. That makes this a 4. And that makes this a 5. Now notice we this is the leg of the x that we chose. The 5 ended up here. But notice, because the 5 ended up here, this couldn't be a 5, right? None of, the, none of the rest of the column could be 5. None of the rest of this column could be 5. Oh, I already knew that, but I marked 5 there. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's a 4. That's 3 and 4. Um, this is a 1. This should finish. Yeah, this is 6 and 4. Uh, that gives us the 3 and the 4. This row finishes with a 5. This column finishes with a 3. And this finishes with a six and we're done all right so i do think this x-wing was helpful i did find some other things that didn't depend on it but getting this three um i think was the most helpful thing there um so cool uh, always nice to find x-wings in our one-up puzzles they're not that common um hope you enjoyed this and how'd you do mm -hmm.